Hi friends, welcome to Crafting and Relaxing. This is Sarah, thank you so much for joining me. Today I am spray painting a table and this video I left in here because I think you should see that not everything goes perfectly. And many times you're gonna see projects where I or other YouTubers make something look easy. This went terribly. So first of all, it's the evening. It's windy where I live in the evening, but I got busy during the day. Sure, I'm working from home, but I missed lunch. Then I'm using a can of spray paint that was in a big bin that my friend gave me of free paper crafting stuff many months back. I, I think I showed a video and it was a neutral gray and I thought, okay, I am fighting this spray can the whole time. It's not coming out very well. It's windy. My dog keeps trying to stand by the gate and talk to me. And if you look at this table and you think about it, was this really a good project for spray paint? Honestly? Probably not. As a crafter, I have 10 tons of paint. See, I'm fighting this can. And to give you an idea, the can was heavy and felt weird. So here I've set the can in the house for a couple days. I've carried it around and shook it. I've tried and I had done that I think before. I can't get anything out of there. And maybe if I had whatever you're supposed to paint thinner to clean that nozzle with, it would have worked. But when you shook the can, you could feel that the pin, the bead in it, wasn't moving around very well. It made noise, but it was thick. So I gave up, I <laughs> went in my shop, and I got a can of brown that I had, but was for a different project. And so if it's something that I use for a certain project, I try and keep that can and I take a Sharpie and write it on there because then you can touch something up later. But you know, we're not in shopping mode, so I just decided to use this one. I actually tried another can of spray paint that was from that same friend in that same bin, and it didn't work. So here I am, I'm painting it. Think this through, people. How am I going to paint those little blue spindles, okay? I should have done this upside down at first. Here I'm showing you the paint I'm using. Rust-Oleum Hammered Paint in Brown. Fancy name, huh? The, this paint has a little bit of texture, which is great for rusty things or things you left outside that are damaged. This is a table I bought years ago, was blue. The layers have chipped off a bit. And so that can of gray I tried to use was gloss, which was a bad idea, would have showed all the blemishes. I let it dry for a couple days, mostly because we had too much wind. And then I came back and I'm fiddling. I have this on like seven times speed, I think. And I'm trying to get that painted. I know at some point I'm going to sit on the deck with the dog and all of that blue underneath is going to bother me. And I'm going to notice those spindles if they're not brown. So I had to figure out how to get a paint can in there but not have it upside down. Because if I have it upside down, it'll stop spraying. If you're going to use spray paint for an item like this, think through how you're going to paint the whole thing. I could have done it in one shot. How I turned it upside down the first day, painted all of that, and then flipped it over and painted the exterior on the top, right? Then I wouldn't have had to wait for dry time for another stupid day and time it. And I got lucky because it has poured here today. And the days that I started this, it was dry. I had checked the weather and done it. In the end, I like how it turned out. It's a cute little brown table. It's restored. The boy stood there and watched me the whole time and I tried to get him to leave. This is my paint area on the side of the house. The table's going to go on the deck with this furniture so brown will work and I'm going to be setting that all up soon and bringing out the rug. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.